Welcome. Today's topic is how paper is manufactured in the industry. If you are a student of chemical engineering, then this topic is important for you. In today's video, we will understand how paper is manufactured from pulp through a flow sheet diagram. Let's get started. First of all, we will know what is paper. Paper is a thin and flat material made from fibers, usually derived from wood pulp, which are pressed and dried to create a surface for writing, printing and drawing etc. So, let us now know about paper production through flow sheet diagram. Firstly, a fiber suspension is prepared in the beater by adding raw material, that is, fibers, and water, and fillers are added after the beating process to enhance brightness, bulk, flexibility, and softness of the paper, and colors are also added for coloring, which is generally water insoluble. In the beater, a process called beating takes place, where fibers are cut into very small sizes, by rotating drums with attached knives, also known as rotating stationary discs. Here a viscous shear infusing solution is formed, which is called fiber suspension or water fiber slurry. Next, the fiber suspension is sent to the refining section for refining. In this section, fibers become entangled to create a wet web, also known as refined pulp. For your information, in modern industry, beater section and refining section are part of the same section, where both beating and refining processes take place. The wet web obtained from the refining section is conveyed to the paper making machine section using a moving belt conveyor, also known as a mesh conveyor belt. During this transition, the gravity of water in the slurry causes water to drip off the conveyor belt. For your information, let me tell you that all these equipments in the industry are installed in horizontal lines. As the wet web enters the paper making machine, it is pressed using pressure rolls to remove water, allowing fibers to bond well. And then, the wet paper sheet is formed, containing 60 to 65 percent water. At the same time, the suction roll, a part of the vacuum section, also removes water by sucking, and the sheet's interlocking is maintained by the shaking motion, and the water that is received is called white water, which is sent for further process, that is, the fiber present in white water is obtained for the process. For watermark, watermarking is done using a watermark roll to print company-related symbols, logos, and identification on the paper sheet, and mild pressure is also applied during this process, and then sheet, is transferred to the drying section from the watermark section. In the drying section, the wet paper sheet is smoothly conveyed by a dry blanket, also known as a supporting roll, to steam-heated drying rolls, typically made of metal, these rolls remove moisture from the paper sheet, and it is here that the paper and metal rolls come into contact, the paper sheet becomes dry, retaining about 5-6% to 6 water. Lastly, the paper sheet's finishing is done using calendaring rolls to smooth the paper surface, the paper is then wound onto winding rolls.